at some points we were neck deep in water, uh, tippy toeing at times, bumping into cars that were completely submerged, couldn't see them that they were there. Our big story tonight, we are hearing from first responders who risked their own lives to save others as fast moving floodwaters destroyed parts of Gila Bend. A man and woman died after authorities say they also jumped in to help people in need. Governor Doug Ducey assessed the damage today after declaring a state of emergency in the community and offering relief money for those affected. Good evening, I'm Rachel McNeil in for Caribe Divine. And I'm Mark Curtis, thanks for joining us. Team 12's Adriana Loya joins us live with the recovery efforts and a firsthand look at the damage inside the fire chief's own home. Adriana. Yeah, Rachel and Mark, this whole area in parts of Gila Bend are still devastated after those flood waters covered this whole area, devastating and taking pretty much everything. I want, it, want you to take a look at this massive pile of debris just right here. In this area, we have a fridge, one, two, and three stoves that were ra ravaged by the gushing waters, including all of Gila Bend's fire chiefs, furniture, and appliances. Just to see my furniture floating out, my clothes floating out. Just two weeks into her new job, this is what Fire Chief Arelia Henry came home to after a long day of helping rescue residents in Gila Bend as devastating floodwaters hit the area. And as you can tell, the water went pretty high. Her home of 13 years completely damaged. So pretty much how far did the water get in? All, all the way through the house, all the way through the house. When my husband got... Uh, awaken he uh, he's in this room and he he said he walked out and when he opened this door like more water rushed in her husband first thinking they had a water leak but the situation turning into a state of emergency several people yelling for help fire captain fred burkhardt on shift that night as rescue calls began to roll through he and two other firefighters forced to climb through a stalled freight train to get to stranded residents, battling hazards like live electrical wires. So for the longest time, it was just the three of us going through homes, getting shocked, um, getting people up on their roofs. Um, the fear and devastation in people's eyes is what really struck us. Firefighters here are volunteers, all risking their own lives to save others. Cleanup efforts expected to take weeks, but this tragedy engraved in their memory. The panic in their faces and their shock, in a state of shock. I close my eyes at night and I see that. I hope in my lifetime we never see this happen again. Governor Doug Ducey saying today he will push for more relief funds to help residents in this community. We're reporting live in Gila Bend, Adriana Loya, 12 News. Adriana, thank you.